you can't talk about Blair Walsh without talking about the moment that ended Minnesota's season. And the kick is no good! And tested Viking fans' sanity. No! I mean, I'm over. It's in the past. It's something that I, you know, I took the time to think about and and, uh, and move on from it. I mean, I'm one of the better kickers in the league, and that's, you know, that's not just how I feel. It's, you know, the stats say that, and that's how I come out here and approach every day. Into the Frigidaire is perfect. Walsh isn't lying. Prior to that miss, he'd been 30 for 31 in his career from 20 to 29 yards, and 2015 was the second best statistical season of his career, even if it's defined by one bad boot. It's not frustrating. I mean, it's it's one of those things that comes with the territory. To improve his accuracy, Walsh has kicked at the kind of uprights arena teams like the Sioux Falls Storm use. It's nice. I mean, we were out there today kicking on those arena uprights, getting more and more accurate. Just be more and more consistent. His confidence right now is good. He had a great spring. I think he hit 92, 93 percent of like 250 kicks that he field goals that he kicked in the spring. The only way we're gonna really know if Walsh Walsh has recovered from that missed kick will be the first time he has to attempt another game winner. That might make a lot of Viking fans nervous, but fortunately the most important guy in the deal isn't. You hit on it perfectly. You always look forward to the next chance as a kicker. Um, you know, sometimes you don't know when it's coming. You just always have to be ready, and that's that's kind of the, the way the, the job pans out. With the Vikings, Zach Borg, KDLT Sports.